Panama City Beach's beautiful shoreline draws crowds from all over the country. But recently, those shorelines have left families going home with empty seats. With the influx of people and having a roving patrol, uh, these things can happen. But we still have a guard that's trying to make contact with people, trying to, trying to advise them where the rips are. The Gulf is prone to deadly rip currents, but beach safety officials say the ones who have to be rescued are often the ones who are repeatedly warned about rough surf conditions. A lot of times the rescues are simply from the people that we've already warned. Out of the six fatal water incidents in PCB this year, five were on beaches without lifeguards. One happened on a guarded beach. It's unfortunate and our lifeguards are doing everything they can. They are very diligent. We work very hard. But beach safety officials say you can take preventative measures on the beach. Regardless of which beach safety flag is flying, beach safety officials always urge the public to swim near a lifeguard. The safest place to be when you come to the beach is near a lifeguard. And I will always pump that out, swim near a lifeguard. If you get caught in a rip current, don't try and fight it and stay calm. Call and wait for help. Swim parallel to the shore until you feel the current lessen. Then try to swim back to shore. We will never stop uh, standing on the shoreline and standing between someone. When we know it's not safe, we're going to be there to tell you it's not safe. In Panama City Beach, Victoria Scott, News Channel 7. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.